This is everything you need to know for pre-calculus, part seven. So we're talking about continuity today and a continuous function, just put the most simple way I can, is that it's a graph that has no breaks, holes, or gaps, okay? So just think of a continuous flowing function like this graph right here, okay? There's no holes in it, there's no breaks, and it continues in both directions forever, okay? So that is a continuous function. Now, on the other hand, we can have a discontinuous function, which is just the opposite, meaning it has some kind of break, hole, or gap, okay? Now, we have three types of discontinuity. First, we have infinite discontinuity, which means as we approach some x value, the function or y value either increases to positive infinity or decreases to negative infinity, okay? So see how it's going down forever right here and it's going up forever up here, right? So there's a space right at x equals zero. And so that's called an infinite discontinuity. Next, we have a jump discontinuity. And just like it sounds, our graph is going this way. We have a point and then it jumps up here and continues that way. Okay, so that is called a jump discontinuity because as we approach x equals 2 from both sides, we actually have two separate values. Okay, and then the last kind is a removable discontinuity. And so just like it sounds, it's a discontinuity that you could remove very easily. And so that means that the function is continuous everywhere except for one point in this case at x equals one, okay? So if we were to fill in that dot, that circle, and make that a point so that at x equals one, we had a y value of one as well. So if we did that, that would be a continuous function now. So that would be a removable discontinuity. And just one more tidbit of information, infinite and jump discontinuities are sometimes known as non-removable discontinuities because you can't remove them. It's pretty self-explanatory, but just know that in case you see that on a quiz. So I hope this video was helpful. If you want to see more like this, go ahead and follow this account, like this video, and leave a comment. That way my videos show up in your For You page later on. We'll see you next time.